What is going on, sports fanatics? Lil Web here, and today we have a very exciting day full of girls basketball today because right now I am going to Highland High School for the annual class in the country. I'll be doing social media today for store rivals as we have two games that we're filming today. First is Tri Valley versus Ottawa Landorf. Should be a very good game there. And then finally, we add the night game for tonight, which is between Highland and South Bend, Washington from all the way in Indiana. This class is pretty much one of the biggest classics in Earl's basketball in the state of Ohio. Oh, and pretty much in the country as well. It attracts so many teams from around here, from Ohio and Indiana to all the way in Nevada and Colorado. So, it should be a lot of fun. So anyways, Let's roll. that we use at Score Rivals to film these highlights. With these cameras, we filmed really good highlights with these of some really good basketball teams, including Highland, as Highland's a very historic group. You guys probably remember Highland when Cambridge played them last year in the district championship. Oh. Yeah, very close name here. Big shot wide open, uh, you stepped up big and buried it. Uh, I just knew we needed it at that moment in time, and I couldn't let my team down, so I just had it on. 
So we just got done with Tri Valley and Ottawa Glendor. Really good game there. Tri Valley ended up coming back in the overtime to win 51 49. What do you think about the game here? That was a good one. It was close. I mean, that's what you expect two state ranked teams. Tri Valley had uh, you know their, their top player go out with foul trouble. Another starter went down with injury, and they found a way. It's what good teams do. So yeah, it's, it's good to, for that to happen. In this type of showcase to beat a good team like that. Glendorf was ranked ninth in D3, so and state runner up last year in D3. That's yeah. a big win for Tri Valley. Yeah, that was uh, so. They remain fourth. They might even go up a little bit. Yeah, and, yeah, so. yeah. I think they depending on who how teams did ahead of them, they could move up. You know, they're 13 and one now. Um, they still got a big game with uh, rematch with Sheridan coming up, you know, one of the other top teams in D2. So uh, it's going to be a fun ride down the stretch for the Lady Dogs. They're actually playing Sunday morning as well against Olin Hange Liberty at the Classic in the City. Ooh. Yeah, that'll be a good one there. there two good matchups for Tri Valley here. If they get a win into Olin Hange Liberty, it'll definitely be a really good season for them. So that was a great win for the Lady Dogs. We got to eat. And uh, today, pizza. Yeah, we're going to go to Park Street Pizza here. And then we'll be back here to film Highland. So we're going to do that real quick. So we'll see you guys here in a bit. This game right now that's going on, one of the teams from all the way in Colorado reached Jesuit. So, really fun. Right now we have this game going on here, here as we wait for the final game between Highland and South Bend, Washington. So, yeah. Let's see let's see how this game here between Reach Jesuit and Rail goes.
so we just got done filming Highland versus South Bend, Washington. It was a good game first half, but second half, unfortunately, South Bend, Washington end up winning that one 42-25. What's your feel about the day overall, Aaron? Long day, my man. Got backed up with a few overtime games. But yeah, you know, really good basketball. The South Bend team was, they were big. You know, a lot, a lot of D1 talent. Um, you know, I think they were just kind of going through the motions but once the game got, you know, out of, out of hand a little bit for them. Um, but it's definitely good to see teams from all over sides of the state. And uh, now the Classic's back after last year's COVID year, a little weird. Um, good competition, and that was just day one. Two more days still full, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So two more days of basketball, and of course, snow is coming, so we'll see how that impacts everything. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be some snow coming. Yeah, luckily, luckily uh, Saturday, we had no Ames film. And then Monday is going to be Highland versus Sheridan, and we have our both teams in that one, so that'll be a lot of fun. Yep, we'll be back then, man. And Bengals win, playoffs. Yep. Oh yeah, Bengals won too, so. Anyways, that is all for this vlog. Be sure to like and subscribe, and for all your sports nights, keep living sports life. See ya. <laughs> Get a ride with that buggy. <laughs>